guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by and so if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscription button and so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make ghee stodo ghee stodo is a delicious nigerian meal which is a combination of gizzard and plantain mixed in pepper sauce and so if you'd like to know how to make this delicious meal keep on watching so already I brought out my gizzard from the freezer, defrost, rinsed and put in a pot. So I'm going to be seasoning it first. And so the first thing I'll be adding is the maggi. And so you add maggi to your taste or you add maggi according to the quantity of the gizzard you're cooking. And after which hard time, salt to your taste, curry powder, I sliced a medium size onions and so I'm adding it now. And so I'm adding garlic too as well. Quantity of garlic de depends on you. But I'm going to be grating it before adding it. I prefer to grate my garlic. And so it's grated and now I'm adding it to the gizzard. And so stir together so that the seasoning are properly circulated. Or it circulates properly, whichever way. And so we are going to allow to cook for like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Cover and allow to cook for like 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, run the feck through it to check if it's done. If the feck enters easily, that means it's done because already it's soft. But if it doesn't, then you have to cover it back and allow it to cook for few minutes again but now because the feck enters easily it's done it's properly cooked and so i'm going to be bringing it out and drain the water and so now after i brought it out and drained the water i diced the gizzard into smaller pieces because remember we are still going to fry it So before frying, put some oil in fry pan and preheat before pouring your gizzard, the diced gizzard. And so now we are frying. And so we we'll fry and stir until it's golden brown. So fry and stir for like 10 minutes too as well depending on when it turns to a golden brown color and so when it's fried bring it out and drain bring it out from the oil and drain and also so now i dice the plantain same way as I diced the gizzard into smaller pieces so I diced the plantain and after and we are going to be frying it too as well and now here is the gizzard I first I first fried so now we are frying the plantain in the same oil. So stir and fry the plantain too as well until it also turns to a golden brown color. So when it's done, you also take it out and drain the oil. And now, 
this is our pepper stew adding seasoning to a pepper stew sorry i didn't show you how i arrived at this so what i did was that i blended some tomatoes pepper garlic and onions together and i also allow it to cook for some minutes so that the water to in the um in the tomatoes get drained so that the water gets dried before adding my seasoning and so after that now i'm adding my seasoning to heat it's just your pepper stew is just the same it's almost exactly as the same way you make your stew and now i'm adding all the ingredients mm -hmm. of the same way as we seasoned the gizzard the only difference is just that here you blend all your main ingredients first which is the tomatoes pepper onions and garlic before adding your seasoning and so now you stir together and um, you season to your taste too as well there is no exact way as it is done just season to your taste and so stir together and allow to cook for some minutes too as well and um, after some minutes then check if all the ingredients are properly represented if it tastes as you would like it to taste and after which if it's okay then you had your gizzard and stir properly You stir until the stew and the gizzard are properly mixed together. And after it's okay, after they are properly mixed, then now now I think it's properly mixed. And now we had our diced plantain and also stir together too as well until they are properly mixed. Stir continuously until both the plantain, the gizzard and the pepper stew are evenly distributed. Or properly mixed whichever way and keys to do is ready it's very easy simple to make So it's important that you stir it until they are properly mixed. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it.